At Hartford College, Oxford University, Carroll realised his passion for Irish history, endowing a chair in the subject. It had the Carroll Library, which is the finest library in private hands in the world of, of private books and manuscripts, which was the research centre. We had four researchers full-time, archaeologists, and it was a very uh, serious uh, operation. The remnants of the library are now to be found in a warehouse north of London. Only a few of the thousands of volumes remain. Parts of the library have been inflicted with criminal theft. Chunks of the library have been stolen and manuscripts have been stolen. In relation to this, I mean, not just ordinary theft, you were saying? The theft, pure theft. Yeah. Stolen books, manuscripts. They're by the people who have yeah. robbed you generally. Yeah. Gerald Carroll still has a few influential friends, amongst them Sir Walter Bodmer, the distinguished geneticist and principal of Hartford College, Oxford, the seat of the chair. Sir Walter supports the campaign for a full investigation into the collapse of Carroll's businesses. I can't really go into the details of the material I've seen and that's for an expert uh, to, to say, but there, there are enough indications even to a fairly uh, uneducated eye that, that things were odd and you know money disappeared and companies changed names and so on.